Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, my child, what you think is permanent, what may look as though it's never going to change within your life. Remember with me, I will make a way. That's right. Though you may not see it, I am fighting your battles. And I fight the battles that you surrender to me. Therefore, surrender all your cares and worries to me today. Things are changing in your favor. And it may look permanent, but remember, it is only temporary. And I'm about to turn it around. And breakthroughs will come as you continue to put your trust in me. That's right, trust in me with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your paths because I am making a way today. That's right, my child, I can make a way through the wilderness and cause streams to rise up, bringing refreshing even in the desert times. It is I who can split the sea, move mountains or any barrier before you and allow you to walk through on dry ground. It is I that will conquer any giant and bring victory to you, my child. It is I who will close the mouths of lions, providing safety for you. It is I who can open prison doors and set captors free. It is I who can protect you from the flames of adversity. It is I who can carry you through any storm. It is I, the God of miracles, and I never change, for I am the same yesterday, today, and for Ever, and I will fight for you today because I am waking a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. As you learn to put your trust in me, you will then see that I will do the impossible, my child. With me, all things are possible, and those who put their trust in me will never ever be disappointed, will never ever be put to shame, my child. Therefore, trust in me with all of your heart. Don't lean on your understanding any longer and allow me to make our way for you today. Remember, those who put their trust in me shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abides forever. Therefore, put your trust in me today and see your deliverance. The more you put your trust in me, the more I will amaze you each and every day. So trust in me with all of your heart. That's right, no longer leaning on your understanding. Imagine if Daniel, my servant, can trust me in the lion's den, and Jonah, my servant, could trust me with inside a whale. Then you can also put your trust in me and surrender all your worries and cares to me. I am with you, but you must learn to trust in me with all of your heart. For remember, when I give you a promise, it is not limited to a particular set of circumstances. It doesn't have to be easy for me to do what I have promised my child. But no, you must learn to trust in the big picture knowing that I have painted this picture on your behalf. Although you may never see the entire canvas, but I always finish what I start. I know that you have been tired and it seems like your struggles will never end. When you overcome one thing, another storm seems to appear and you seem like you cannot win for losing. Your faith is challenged every day and you often wonder, where am I hiding? Or what is happening? Have I forsaken you? I am working on your behalf 24-7. Even when things appear to be getting worse, do not give up, my child, but know that I am working. Yes, I am working it out for your good. And you may not always know exactly how, 
but know that I am always working to purpose things out for your good and for my glory. For all things shall work for your good, for those who love me and are called according to my purpose. Your heart may pound, your, your tears may fall, but no matter what happens, my child, know that I have a beautiful plan for you. And all you need to do is trust. Trust in me. Trust that you are always loved. Believe that I am with you. And trust the storm will all pass at my appointed time. Yes, I am with you and I am for you. Therefore, put your trust in me like you've never done before. When I said it is finished, I meant it. So stop trying to refix what I have already fixed, which was under my blood. Let go today and let me do the impossible, my child. Yes, I will do the impossible. Therefore, put your trust in me afresh today, knowing that all things are within my hands. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 6, One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gethsemane, and people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their necks. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. And then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. Hallelujah. Imagine this casting your nets into deeper waters. That's what God wants to speak to you today. He wants you to put your trust in him. See, the same river that Peter spent the entire night not catching any fish is the same river that they caught thousands of fish that even caused the nets to break the next very morning. See, the issue is when Jesus came in the morning and said, do you have any fish? They replied, no. See, he did not advise them to change the river location. Instead, he asked them to cast the nets deeper. When your life is going in the opposite direction, it's not about changing workplaces, changing spouses, changing churches, or giving up on life. It's about casting your faith deeper into God, casting your fellowship deeper with Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the Father. It's about casting your trust deeper for God to provide. It is about you casting your trust deeper for God to heal. It's about you casting your trust deeper for God to restore, for God to uplift, for God to deliver, for God to heal you divinely and emotionally, for God to revive you, for God to show favor upon you, and for God to pour out his blessings among all those that call upon his name. That's right. May the Lord give you the grace to go deeper today, seeking him first and his kingdom and his righteousness. Then everything else shall be added unto you, precious saints. Are you putting your trust in God today? He wants to do something afresh within your life, but you must be willing to put all your trust in him, despite of anything that is taking place in your life at this present time. God has a plan for you, precious saints. He wants you to go deeper. 
He wants you to go deeper. He wants you to go deeper in Him. Press in today. Press in today. Press in worship. Press in prayer. Press in devotion. Press in faithfulness. Press in obedience to God and His Word. Press in. Keep pressing in until your breakthrough comes. Hallelujah. And if that is you today, I want us to repeat this prayer today. Let us pray. So precious Jesus, repeat this, precious Jesus, I acknowledge today that you are Lord and Savior of all mankind. And today I have recognized my shortfall. I repent and turn away from all sin. Please cover me with your precious blood and establish your word in my life that I may be found in righteousness and holiness and write my name in the book of life and baptize me today with the power of your Holy Spirit that I may be ready for your soon coming that I may be rapture ready for your coming let me be found blameless before you today in Jesus mighty name let me pray for you right now Heavenly Father I thank you for each person that has listened to this utterance today thank you for the gift of faith help us to look at life through the eyes of faith help us as ordinary people to live extraordinary lives Lord we pray today we receive your strength within our hearts and life at this very moment Lord that we may do what we need to do with your strength to hold to sustain and to guide us each step of the way whatever the devil is throwing our way so shall come to pass because you are with us and you have given us all authority in the name of Jesus we cut Satan and his demons and curses loose from us today and our family and friends in the name of Jesus we command you Satan and all your evil spirits and curses to loosen from us and our families today and all the things that you have stolen from us that are ours through the blessings of Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to send your warrior angels to bring these things back to us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, according to Proverbs 6.31, if a thief be found, he must return back seven times and we have the right to plunder even his house. Send forth your angels to return everything that the devil has stolen unto us because according to John 10.10, 10, the devil comes as a thief to kill steal and destroy therefore we identify you as a thief today and you will return back seven times send forth your angels lord to bring it back to us father god in the name of jesus we loose your power over ourselves and over our family and over our loved ones today in the name of jesus we ask you to send your holy angels to fight our battles in the heavenlies let them guard us from satan and all of his wicked angels who have have and would have anything against us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we bind and cancel all deception within us and prevalent around us, any deception going between us, around us, or through us. In the name of Jesus, upon all fears, we loose today the perfect agape love and true and pure love that only comes from God and our love for one another. Lord, I pray for a sound mind and self control today in the name of Jesus Christ upon our minds we loosen knowledge revelation and understanding today wisdom truth Lord in the name of Jesus Christ even diligently searching you today with all of our hearts Lord I pray for deliverance to come upon your people in the name of Jesus upon all their marriages against all their family members any destroying spirits that are coming against them deliver them Lord we loose God's family's protection of his angels as a hedge of protection as we draw a bloodline around their families in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we thank you upon all rejection we loose the love of your brethren today in acceptance in the beloved and accepted approved of men and the adoption as children of God in the name of Jesus we pray that we loosen upon us your power of 
praise today thankfulness worship singing lord prayer and all the holy spirit's fruit according to galatians 5 love joy peace patience long suffering and gentleness kindness goodness faithfulness and self-control and all the gifts of the holy spirit according to 1 corinthians 12 verse 8 to 10 wisdom knowledge faith and also prophecies healings miracles tongues interpretation of tongues discernment of spirits Lord, quiet and constraining, contrite heart. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for that spirit of repentance and conviction to come upon each person's their life today. Lord, touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Lord, we bind up every power of the enemy that is coming against your people today. You will loosen your glory, your anointing upon each person. Lord, that they may have a spirit of excellence today to go forth and expand in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hindering spirit, every blocking spirit, every obstacle that's in their way be removed today in the name of Jesus Christ. You've given us all authority today. We walk by faith and not by sight today. Touch your people. Fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Bless your people today as you start to move and move in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way as as the people are seeking you. Lord, I pray for each person that partakes of this weekend's fast. Lord, I pray for their breakthroughs. I thank you for the river of God. Lord, that you have provided for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now as you love them and you bless them today in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I also have some words of knowledge and prophetic words to give right now. I saw a wave coming and then I saw the word tsunami. So we need to pray against that. We need to pray against any casualties or anything that would involve bringing destruction. But you're going to see this stuff in the news. So we need to pray now that through our prayers they may cancel whatever the enemy wants to bring for harm god's going to turn it around and use for his glory so heavenly father we pray right now we cancel right now every plan of the enemy that would utilize this natural disaster to bring about many casualties lord we pray in the name of jesus christ we cancel every plan of the enemy also and i also saw floods floods that are coming so lord i pray also the same with floods and all the havoc and all the disaster that floods cause heavenly father i pray in the name of jesus christ you will turn around everything and use it for your glory i also saw a bank robbery there will be a bank robbery that will take place and you'll see it come on the news and then you'll remember that this word was given so lord i pray against anyone getting hurt or any casualties at any state or any level and lord that you would uh lord that they would be exposed and they would be captured lord these people these robbers for whatever reason uh they're doing it for lord in the name of jesus and i also come against the spirit of car accident right now i saw a car accident i needed to pray against this spirit of a uh, car accident or the uh, spirit of accidents that is trying to come premature death lord i come against it today and i cancel it and lord i pray today for your divine protection your angelic protection to surround each person listening and also their loved ones right now in the name of jesus christ surround them right now in the name of jesus christ i also saw somebody that's had a property or a business and it's been on the market for a period of time for a while and it uh it it hasn't sold but get ready whatever that property whatever that home whatever that business is it's going to open up it's going to be sold in the name of jesus christ i also come against cancer i also come against cancer right now in the name of jesus christ i pray right now come against this spirit of cancer you will stand to the attention of our lord jesus christ right now and you will leave that person right now you will leave them right now in the name of jesus christ and also saw lymph 
glands. Lymph glands came as a as as a word of knowledge. Lord, I pray for anyone with any of those issues within their lymph glands be healed today in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also somebody where your bones have not mended, have not set correctly, but they are going to be brought back into the perfect design of God. They'll be brought back into place and you will even hear the pop, the sound, the crack, whatever it is, you're going to hear it. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for a creative miracle that every bone will come back into the perfect design of God and be set and healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also come against any skin condition. Though I saw the word skin condition. Every skin condition be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every skin condition be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I also saw eyes are being open. Eyes are being open and also eyes are being healed right now. I also saw someone's foot being healed. Get ready, receive your healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also saw somebody's back being healed right now. So just place your hand on any of these areas and also saw chest infection being healed right now. If anyone has a chest infection, any issue there with your chest, just place your hand upon your chest, place your hand upon your foot, place your hand upon your back, place your hand upon your eyes, place your hand, whatever the skin condition is and receive your healing. Place your hand upon that area where the bone didn't set correctly and God is going to bring that. Place that, your hand wherever that cancer is, wherever it's been uh, identified, name it, wherever you where the, that person with their lymph glands, place your hand there right now and receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. I declare you're healed. I declare you're delivered and set free in Jesus mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrapath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification button, forward it to at least seven friends. Seven is a perfect number. Send it to seven people today and see the Lord bless you because there's so many people that have forwarded or recommended this channel. Even YouTube itself recommends these prayers. And people say, Pastor, I, this was recommended. I heard it. I was healed. I was delivered. I was set free. You know, <laughs> the, the miracles that are coming. This is revival, people. This is revival. If you're seeing all the testimonies, they, that ain't even, that even the majority of them, some of them I can't even put up there. There's too many. This is revival. We are in a season of revival that is starting to build up. It's going to be like a tsunami in the spiritual that is going to come. So I encourage you, participate of the fastings. We've got our three-day fasting this current weekend. Just participate. Just write down a list of everything that you want God to do for you and you'll start to tick them off. Now, if you still have some of those on your list from the last time, I said place it in your Bible, add them to the new list and put the new things on and testify of the things that God has answered. Because when you look back, it's sometimes only then you see, wow, God did this, God did that, God did this, and you can testify by sending us an email to pst.robertclancy at outlook.com. So you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. If you are joining in the three-day fasting, I want you to connect. I want you to go and click onto the link. I want you to write a comment with in the blog of there to say, I'm joining. I'm joining. If you haven't already, do that. And God is going to bless you. So we've got the three day fasting, then in September, the 10 day fasting. So I want you to get ready for all the saints uh, because the Lord is going to do powerful things. Let me tell you, 
powerful things. Even these words of knowledges and, and prophecies of, you know, sometimes I say, where did that come from? The other day it was like, you know, closed cases are going to be reopened and solved. And then bang, next thing you know, the next day on the news, there is, you know, this happening, there is this happening and people send this stuff. So look, I don't go and check to see if all these prophecies get fulfilled. I just let the people tell me. So if you see them, just tell me because I just want to focus on the Lord and allow you to tell me what's going on in your country. This is an international ministry because it's going to all your different nations and uh, there are things happening over there. I wouldn't even have a clue, but it may be the fulfillment of the words of knowledge of the prophetic utterances that are being released. So I just want to encourage everyone, share your testimonies, share it with a friend, never underestimate the power of prayer and fasting and also sharing our powerful prayers that people can also be brought into this Catch the Fire of Repentance revival. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.